That's the golden time of day. That's the time of the day when the sun is going down. Ooh, it's five o'clock. That's the golden time of day. Yes, it's the golden time of day. Five o'clock. Cooking with Kip. Lola's hanging around. <laughs> no, we're not pointing stuff. <laughs> Ty's in the house. Hello, hey, everyone. Hi. All right, what am I looking for? Wine? No, grape juice? <laughs> grape juice, wine, water. Y'all gonna take up a wine, though. I only, I only do this when it's this time. Yes, it's okay, baby. Wait, wait. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All yeah. right, welcome that's, that's to... That's part of the culinary experience. Mine, at least. <laughs> what you said, baby? I welcome. was welcoming a few people on. Thank y'all for joining. Cooking with Kip, live at five. Live golden at time five. of day. The golden time of day, that's... My favorite time of day. It is. Just as the sun is going down. There's something spiritual about that. You yeah. know, seeing the sun come up, seeing it go down. Uh, we have to know there's a God somewhere. Huh? Amen. Uh, what are we cooking today, baby? What are we cooking today? We're doing, uh, you know, yesterday wasn't healthy. <laughs> Last wasn't night. Healthy. Last night was not healthy. If you was hanging out with us, we had nachos stacked up like that high. <laughs> And my arteries are saying, cry, cry. <laughs> we cried we, together. Uh, we, cried. We, need, we needed help to eat those nachos last night. We so did. Today, we're going to turn a corner. Um, cooking with Kip Live at 5. We're doing some salmon. A salmon bowl. A salmon bowl. Asian inspired. My version of an Asian inspired. We're going to do a little cilantro rice, which I went in and cooked the rice. I'm going to season it up with some stuff. And uh, we're going to pan grill the salmon and uh, mix aioli and it's going to be a little rice at the bottom of the bowl, a little shredded butter lettuce, some red onions. Sounds I, like good stuff. I roasted a red pepper. Um, we got some broccoli sprouts. What else we got? We got some pomegranate. We got some red onions. We got cucumbers. Healthy, healthy. We're trying to get it right. You know, <laughs> fish and and grains and uh, vegetation today. There you go. How about that? There you okay, go. That's cool? That's cool. I'm going to say hi to a few people. Okay, cool. Hello, Shirley Turner. Thank you for joining. Renee Carson, Vanessa Thomas in the house. Tracy Couturant. Cruton, I think I said that right. Lady mm -hmm. J. Reagan. I love Frankie Beverly. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Hello, Betty Robertson. Aldine Tucker is in the house. Adria Harris. Hello, blessed people. Love you. Thank you so much. Shirley Faye Williams Davis. Hi to you both. Milana Roberts. Roberts, happy Saturday. Thank you for joining. Happy Saturday. That is. Tamika Delvin Sparrow. Hello. KD Johnson. Hello, you all. Happy Saturday. Thank y'all for joining. We're about to do a little cooking, Chef Kip style. Hello, Joanne Renfro. Right. Cousin Tony, uh, <clears throat> Tony shared our live last thank night. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for the love and support, cousin. And, and thank you for so many people that have shared stars. And uh, we have one new supporter from South Africa. I can't remember her name right now. Uh, I should have wrote that down. Yes. But, uh, but thank you so much. Uh, it's, a, it's a $4.99 prescription. Subscri subscription. I said prescription. Yeah, it's the wine, baby. <laughs> How are you going to say that? Um, <laughs> I was trying to get you, you were on out. My team. I'm on your team. <laughs> so it's four ninety nine, four dollars ninety, a five dollar subscription per month. Yeah, to help the cause, to help us with the movement of what we're doing. So there's a little, I guess, a little blue looking aqua button that's on there. Yes. All right, and with that button, actually, I'm doing some special stuff. Some, yes. Some. some so special features for for that for that group of people. For our supporters. All right. So thank you so much. So we're going to get to cooking. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do things in a little cycle. The salmon really is the thing that doesn't take me long to cook. Right. So we're going to kind of do that last uh, while some other stuff is going. But I'm going to get the sauce going. Uh, one of the sauces is going on the fish. And then um, I'm going to get the aioli and then we're going to get the salmon cooking. Okay. I'm one of those that don't cook salmon to death. I don't want it. Uh, and, you know, everybody do their own thing. I, I, if it's like a, a little streak in the middle of like it's raw, I'm okay with that. I mm. know you're thinking, wow, Kip, really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. As mm. um, long as you buy some good salmon, you buy from a reputable place and uh, looks good, smells good, all that good stuff, it won't hurt you. Mm -hmm. it, it will not hurt you. And omega-3, 
um, that's good for you. All that stuff is there, and I think I enjoy the flavor of it. So that's personal preference. Um, and I'm not the only one. I've met many people like that. So mm -hmm. I know you guys tired of me talking. Somebody mm -hmm. said, Kip, stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> they tell you all the time. Yeah, Carl, man. Gwen, and Mom is watching. Right. Hey, family. Okay. So we're going to get this going. I got some fish sauce. If you're not familiar with fish sauce, it's a smelly sauce. <laughs> but it gives good flavor. <laughs> uh, we got some oyster sauce, some uh, garlic sauce, some ginger, some honey. So I'm, that's one of the sauces that I'm putting together. So we're going to get, can't go too crazy with the fish sauce. Yeah. Just FYI. It only takes like a, because it's pretty potent. Okay. So these are mostly Asian um, inspired uh, ingredients for the sauce you're going to make. That's correct. Um, Shawanda McKinney. Hello, new viewer. I ran across your videos the other day and love what I saw. Enjoyed the so show. So now I'm a follower of yours. Thank, Thank you, you so much for the love and support. Thank you. We appreciate okay. it. So we're going with some oyster sauce, and I'm probably putting about uh, three tablespoons. You let the spirit guide you. We got three you. tables. Uh, yeah, let the spirit, <laughs> let the spirit guide me. Is it? Mm -hmm. um, let me clean that bottle up. Okay. Um, three tables because I have three pieces of fish, and we don't. I don't. I'm not gonna leave a lot of sauce, so don't want to waste a bunch of stuff. Yes. Yeah, so here's the fresh salmon. You may use frozen salmon fillets. If you uh, okay. if you have that, a little bit of the garlic. It's it's got a little kick in it. It's a little, a little spicy, but when you balance it up, balance it out with the uh, with the honey, you're still gonna have. I like spicy, but I don't just like hot. Mm -hmm. With meaning that if it's gonna be hot, it's gotta have some flavor. Okay. That's right. I'm cool with that. Charlotte Young Lucas says, I'm not a salmon person. I have been following you and love your recipes. Maybe this recipe would change that. My okay. hubby loves salmon. Okay. Help but and thank you. You can always try different different uh, Ways. fish. Mm -hmm. If it's a hearty fish that you can grill, that's, that's cool. So I just put a little honey in there. and I, I thought I had to eat on already. And I use this here, this little stirring paste. Um, I, I use fresh ginger too, which I have some over here somewhere. Sometimes I use this in sauces just to mm -hmm. make it a little creamier. Um, you usually sell it in the produce section, but it's a little ginger paste. Thank you for the stars, Bridget Hall. Gary Craig says oyster sauce sweet. Oyster sauce is not sweet. Is that well? I take that back. It does have a little sweetness to it, but then the pungency of the, like the, you know, I, I won't say I'm a, I'm a guru of Asian cuisine, so I always read the contents. But it does have a flavor of the oyster. oyster. I'm going to say the flavor of the oyster, but let me read this again. Um, oyster extract. So that is the flavor of the yes. oyster. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it does have the sugar in it. So it's a little sweetness. But the honey is going to balance out these two. So I'm going to let that heat up a little bit. Okay. Um, if you're just joining, he's doing an Asian-inspired salmon bowl. You can switch out this protein. It doesn't have to be salmon. You, you can, can actually... I'm sorry, baby. Go ahead. You was like, we were talking about this earlier today. You could actually use chicken. Mm -hmm. You could use maybe like uh, uh, pork tenderloin. Mm -hmm. uh, shrimp. Shrimp. Steak. Mm -hmm. Steak. Any, any protein you any, want. Any of those proteins would work in this mm -hmm. bowl. Okay. So actually, I'm not letting this cook long, really. I'm just letting it kind of, the flavors come together. I'm just, I'm just going to let it do its thing. And then I'm actually, yeah, that'd be enough. Mm -hmm. That'll be enough for what I need to do. Okay. Um, so that was um, honey, um, garlic, um, pepper sauce, pepper sauce, some oyster sauce, some ginger. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of. Uh, and I almost forgot. Hello, Patricia Skipworth. I'm gonna put a little bit of soy sauce in it as well. Hello, Pamela Dow. Thank y'all for joining and drive Peyton, P Mary, and Craig. Craighead from um, Bedford, Virginia. What's for dinner? Um, Donna Fluis Williams, Frankie Beverly. I think she enjoyed your song. Hello, Joanne Winfrey. Well, I might do a little bit more of that. Yes, baby. Yeah. So I put, I added a little bit of soy sauce in it too. Okay. So this is the sauce. Um, so as it cooks, cooks slowly. Uh, because with that honey, it's going to thicken up. I may add a little bit of brown sugar, but I don't think I am. Okay. We're going to keep it all natural if we can. Okay. Hello, cousin Orlandis Johnson. So I'm going to taste that. From Mississippi. Thank y'all for joining. Let's see what it tastes like so far. Everything is cooked products. Wow. 
Thank you for the stars, cousin. Florence Taylor. Hello, yeah. Cuban Tie. Little more, honey. Okay. I love the guy. I love you guys and the dishes you, you're making. Thank you so much for the support. Honey is in. So the honey is balancing out the heat that we the, put the in. The heat. And I want just a little bit of sweet and sour. Okay. Hello. So, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Karen there. Hamilton. Um, Elizabeth Gillian from Natchez. I'm assuming that's Mississippi. Cousin Beverly Johnson is on. Okay. And as I, uh, when, when you get to see the, when you see the finished product, you'll see where I'm going with this. It's going to be kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's going. <laughs> um, Lolisha said, where's her plate from last night? I held it. I mean, I went to the door and you did, you weren't there. So you really played me. <laughs> I got had it ready. No, I'm kidding. Lolita. Always got you. We we sure didn't. We already said we're gonna get together in, in eventually. Um, we could not finish all those nachos, so so I wouldn't be guilty. We made sure to eat all the shrimp. <laughs> the <next. laughs> you, uh, no, you know what I did, baby? What you do? They're in the fridge, actually. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> I wasn't gonna throw that away. Hello, Sharon Harris. Happy Saturday from Conley, Georgia. So Valerie Worsham. So I got a couple of sauces, and I making like a little quick aioli. Again, the Asian flavors, I'm using a rice wine vinegar and a little bit of mayo and some sriracha. Sriracha. So we got a lot of... Ooh. A lot of spice. Ooh. That was all that went on tight. That's all right. Make so it do what What I need do. to do, I'll just do that. There you go. Hello, Rita Murphy. She says she just started watching and she must say I'm loving the vibes. Keep doing what you're doing. Much love. Thank you so much for the support. So I'm gonna stir this up. Okay, and this is the aioli. Spell aioli, baby. A i o l i. Okay. I think I spelled it right. Yes, it's like a mayonnaise sauce. Yeah. Hello, Linda Atchison from Bay Minute. Thank you for joining. I think that's Bay Minute. Bay Minute. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> Alabama. I remember we used to go past that when we lived in Mississippi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Baby net. It's right near Mobile. You can go there or you can go to Pensacola through that way. But I know where that's at. Okay. Hey, Tamis and Shelton. So I got to taste this and make sure it's in the house. Yeah. That's what you want? The only thing I'm going to add to that is mm -hmm. a little bit of uh, just a little bit of sugar. Okay. I know you might say, you be thinking, wow, where is he going with all these flavors? Mm -hmm. But it, you know what? That's part of the travel. When you're going somewhere and you're traveling, it's a journey you have to take. Mm -hmm. Do we need to stir the sauce? Oh, that's okay. It's talking. Yeah, talking. A, little, a little bit of that. Because we got a lot delicious. going on here with the, with the flavors that's going on. Mm -hmm. It probably didn't help that I put sugar in this sauce, but hey. I'm I talking wish, about from a healthy standpoint. That yes. Is. I wish we had smell o vision It smells delicious. Okay. So I got the aioli going. Okay. I'm going to put just a little bit more. Okay. If you're just joining, we're doing an Asian-inspired salmon bowl. The components are cilantro rice, um, some fresh chopped vegetables from lettuce to cucumbers, and we're going to pan fry the salmon and place it on top. I don't know if you all have been to that restaurant, that restaurant that does all the... What restaurant, babe? Uh, you can get a good burrito or I'm trying not to say the name okay. anyway, <laughs> but right. I have enjoyed a nice bowl. Okay. So I'm going to put this in the fridge from them. And so let it relax. that's the way that this dish was inspired. Um, Ted Hamby said, I'm about to go to Shell House and eat up. All right, Ted. Enjoy your dinner, man. <laughs> Trisha Ann. Hello, beautiful couple. I'm just tuning in. What are you guys cooking tonight? Um, we just went through, we're doing a uh, Asian inspired salmon bowl. You can substitute any protein you like. That's the sauce cooking up. All right, so that's ready. So what I'm gonna do? The reason why I was getting these ready, I, I want them just to cool down just a little bit. Okay. Uh, because I'm a, I'm gonna. That's gonna help with the process that I do later with as far as. Um, Drizzling. Drizzling it on. Kelly Gordon says, love the components you use in your recipes, bold and unique flavors. Always make the difference in a dish and make it memorable going after it's gone, long after it's gone. You are correct on that, sis. All right. So we got that. We got the sauces already. 
And before I get that salmon on, I'm going to put it on low and just let it start heating up. Okay. I'm going to uh, try Top to get some of the other stuff. I got a, a roasted a red bell pepper. Um, Elena Field says Greg and Lawrence is watching. All right. <laughs> hey family from Durham, North Kakilaki. We love and miss y'all. Okay, so we're gonna take some of the skin off. What I did, I just put it in the oven on broil, um, real close, and let it just do its thing. Blister up. Blister it up some, and then I put it in a little Ziploc bag to make it sweat, and that allows me to just pull off the outer skin and then I'll just uh which helps with the uh the flavor this is if you ever like pimento cheese and we don't have access to pimentos like that around here this is a good way to make pimento cheese you just do a little mayonnaise and roast the pepper chop it up uh cream cheese I'm giving you a recipe right now mm -hmm. cream mm -hmm. cheese shredded cheddar cheese a little mayo and we have to do that one yeah, day. Yeah, we'll have to make some pimento cheese. Yeah. That that's pepper good with some rice. That's right. We got some rice coming. That's Carl Sims. Tina um Cowan. Hi, I just got on my first time on. Thank you so much for joining. Yes, Florence Welcome Taylor. To the family. It, was, it was Chipotle. I was trying not to say it, <laughs> but that's the oh, restaurant. Oh, I didn't well, know what I didn't know what restaurant you was. It was uh yes, I get their bowls from time to time. So this is inspired by those bowls that I've had there. Um, okay, so I got some of that skin off of there. Okay. So I'm going to slice those up. And those are going to go into the bowl. All right. Thank you for joining, Ted. He said he got to go, my brother. Keep on cooking. All right, Ted. You can watch later, man. Yes. <laughs> Trisha Ann, hello, beautiful couple. I'm just tuning in. What are you guys cooking from Cleveland and Ohio? We're doing an um, Asian-inspired salmon bowl. Thank you for joining. That's Terrell Broughton from Milton, Florida. Thank you for joining. Got that together. I'm going to put that right there. And then what I'm going to do is get skillet hot and uh, get the salmon going. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm actually going to, in lieu of olive oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, any of that stuff, I'm actually going to use uh, sesame oil. Okay. Roasted sesame oil, which is going to give it another depth of flavor. <laughs> so I'm going to brush some on the fish, as well as I'm going to put some in the uh, pan. In the pan. And you're going to use this is uh, sesame seed oil has a high heat content, That's, correct? Eh, yeah, it does. Okay. Um, and it's going to give it flavor okay. as well. It's going okay. to give it a, a flavor. And my seasoning that I'm using today is. Uh, Chinese five spice, which is uh, nutmeg, coriander, um, um, some, some little bit of cinnamon. Um, so uh, it's already anise. pre mixed. Yeah, oh, I mixed mix mix some star anise. Okay. I added a little black pepper, a little Himalayan salt. That's what's going on with my fish. So I'm, I'm talking about a lot of depth of flavors that's going on. Here. Yes. Uh, but I'm not going to go too heavy. Okay. Because, you know, salmon does its thing. You know, if, if you're a salmon lover. Yes. Um, Eleanor Rowe, good evening, Ty and Kip. Andrea Macy, hi, Kip. Sharice Willis McWilliams, we enjoyed your shrimp nachos for brunch. They were delicious. Thank you. All right. Gary Craig said, have you ever cooked pork belly? Yes, he has. Yes, I have. That's one of his favorite cuts of meat. Yeah, I like pork. <laughs> My last name, Bacon, Gary Craig. <laughs> I am pork belly. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Martha Harvey Lewis. Um, thank right. you for sharing, Terrell Broughton. Okay, that pan is starting to smoke a little bit. And what I'm going to do is take a little bit. I'm going to be using a cast iron grill pan. And if you, I'm sure, I, I know you guys can't smell it, but if you smell it, don't you, baby? Yes, that sesame oil smells delicious. It smells delicious. Can I have a talk with you? That's what it's saying, baby. Can I make your dreams come true? Yes, you can. Oh, can I right, now. be in love with you? Good food make me want to sing. Yes. <laughs> All right, we got it going on, y'all. This is in. And I'm going to have to brush it on the back side. In the pan that I'm using, 
gonna give them a cross hatch, meaning I'm gonna put the little grill marks on it. And what are grill marks for? It's all cosmetic. It's you all don't cosmetic. Change the flavor of anything. It's all for appearance. <laughs> it's the makeup. Gary Craig said, "Here's the mic, baby. <laughs> you better sing here." <laughs> All right, here we go. Got the seasoning on there. All right, we're in the house. Mm -hmm. We're doing the thing. Okay, the fish is cooking. Turn it back up. I'm just messing around with it. Yeah. Get a good sear on there. Table. Okay, we're good. Mm -hmm. Don't let that do its thing. Wash my hands up right quick. Hello, Patricia Robertson, Alpha Star Wars. Love your show. Elverso Mitchell Powell, love watching and listening to you guys. Great recipes too. Thank you for joining. Thank you for sharing, Belinda Florence. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got that going. So now I'm going to uh, pop up some something. veggies. Yeah, I'm going to put this, I'll serve these in the bowl. Okay. Right. You, you want to toss up your cilantro rice? Right? Thank you, baby. You're welcome. That's, right. what, that's what I'm here for. So I need to chop some cilantro, though. Yes. So, I used, um, but, go ahead. Well, no. I, I used some cilantro last night. Still had some left over. We're not going to let that spoil. We're going to use some more. So, my cilantro rice is cilantro, so white pepper, salt, um, lime juice, and lime zest. It's the rice that uh, complements quite a few things that I like to make. And it has the zing to it, mm -hmm. freshness to it. Uh, and, uh, this is a recipe that I didn't come up with. Well, I take it back. You did come it's up with it. It's my recipe, <laughs> but I was inspired by something I saw. Yeah. And so there are some recipes with cilantro rice out there with it. Uh, yeah. but, uh, but I didn't like, I just got in the kitchen and started putting together my own one day and that's where I go now. And this is a good way to kick up your rice. He's already pre-cooked some white rice. Got the rice ready. And he's just going to add some seasoning and flavor to it yeah. to go with what we're, we're making. Thank you all for joining. We got a lot of new people on. Bertha Ingram, what's the seasoning? It was Chinese Five Spice. Chinese you Five show, Spice. It's, it's a mixture of, of uh, not short tea, but I added a few things to it. Okay. Uh, and that was sesame, sesame oil. Yeah. That was Chinese five spice blend. It's a mixture of star anise, cinnamon, nutmeg, um, a little cayenne pepper. Yes. And then I added some uh, Himalayan salt to it, uh, a little fresh ground pepper. And it's going to give it this exotic, Asian inspired little flavor to it. All right. You'll hit some of the kitchen stuff. They sure did catch it. <laughs> LaWanda Bird watching from Traverse City, Michigan. Love your showing. Thank you so much for joining. Sharice mm -hmm. Williams McWilliams. All right now. All right. Linda Sutton. Hello, Ty and Kip. I'm glad I have the opportunity to watch you live. Linda, Linda, from, from Red Linda Sutton. <laughs> All right, so let's let's get this. Yeah. And I'm just turning it and cross at you to put the, the cosmetics on it. Yeah, the opposite grill mark. Yeah. I like to mess that up, didn't I? It's all right. It's all right. I'm cooking it. Let it do its thing. Wash it off real quick. And be right back. Hello, Tammy. It's so sweet, Smith. It's my first time watching. Thank you for joining. Lanisa Marina, I enjoy your cooking show. Thank you so much. Howard McNeil is watching. He loves cooking with Chinese five spice. Alice right, Harper says she can smell it. Stop up some cilantro for the rice. Okay. Jeanette Mayfield, first time with salmon cakes and apple, apple slaw. Well, that was last week, wasn't last it? Last Saturday. That's Enjoy good. watching me cooking, making apple slaw tomorrow. How can I watch taco video? Um, it was actually nachos last night. You should be able to go on the page, cooking with chips. And scroll to last night, and it should be there. Yep. That's from Trenton, New Jersey. Thank you so much for your support. Um, Donna Fluis Williams says, could you put a dash of peanut oil in your rice with all the other ingredients? Sure, you could. I, I don't know if you give it a ton of flavor, mm -hmm. but I, actually, I might put a little bit of the uh, of the. Uh, Sesame oil in this rice. Okay. Hello, Sister Rising Garrison. Thank you for joining us on this fine Saturday. 
I know the house smells so good. Yes, it does. That's Brenda Simmons. The okay. flavors are there. I'm ready to flip this fish in just a second. Okay. No Hello, way. Renee Jax. First time watcher. Looks amazing. Thank you so much. And if you're just joining, he's just making some cilantro lime rice. He cooked a pot of rice. And all he's done is chop up some cilantro. And all the way, that's about to put two at a time instead of, instead of three. three in here. Yeah, he's trying to get them all done on the live. Tear it up, Kip. Don't burn your finger, Kip. <laughs> okay, got All it. right, there we go. Okay, just let it do its thing now. Okay. Your sister loves salmon. Yes, she does. Gary Craig, the salmon looks good. Thank you, brother. Alright, let's get back to this. Hello, Olivia Taylor. Thank we'll you for joining. Just let it do its thing now. <laughs> Sharon Brown says she made the salmon patties, biscuits, and syrup with hot sauce. She almost bit her finger off. <laughs> <laughs> so all I'm doing now is doing a little zesting. Pulling off a little bit of the uh, The zest of the line. The zest of the line. And I just learned from watching you, you don't go to the white part. No, you just want to get the white is the bitter. The white makes it bitter. You just want to get that first layer of skin off. That's correct. There's another line here somewhere. And this is for the cilantro lime rice. That's correct. Hello, Elvira Hayes. First time watching from Illinois. Thank you for joining. Kelly Gordon said making homemade cilantro rice is the best. LaWanda Bird says delicious. Myrtle Sampson, Salmon Cakes, my first time watching too, and I love what I'm seeing so far. Thank you so okay. much. Cool. All right, so I'm getting the zest off of the limes, and then I'm going to get some lime juice out of the limes as well. That, that lime is so fresh, uh, along with all these other smells. My nose is on a journey. So we're going to put the lime zest, zest in there, and then we're going to... I'm going to do my knife. Oh, here it is. I'm going to put the lime juice in as well. Okay. So he's mixing this together right in the pot. We just cook the pot of rice and let it sit and cool for a minute. Um, it's still warm, so it's going to absorb the flavors that he's adding. He's That's chopped right. some fresh cilantro some lime zest and now lime juice and that's that's going to make all the difference with that cilantro cilantro or lime are like black pepper and salt yes, to me uh, <laughs> like uh um ashford and simpson ashford and simpson <laughs> drop a note baby <laughs> yeah. it ain't martin and coretta <laughs> all right now they go together they go together <laughs> Um, so if you're embarking upon cilantro for a first time, make sure you have that lime. It's going to make all the difference. Okay. We're going to go ahead and use up all this lime. Okay, let's do it. It yeah. smells so delicious. There we go. I like that freshness of it. And this is a good idea. It doesn't have to be with uh, salmon. If you're just wanting something different than regular rice, right. you can always add herbs. You got that together. I'm going to stir up this rice. You're going to add a little white pepper. Okay. I already got asked salt in the rice earlier. Tammy, there go your white pepper, sis. we're going to put a little bit of the uh, <laughs> sesame oil. Just a touch. Don't need a lot. We're going to stir it up. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody needs somebody. All right, that's ready. All right. Wipe that off, wipe the stove off. Hello, Alfreda Newsom, watching from Columbia, Mississippi. Now I'm ready to pull the fish out, please. Okay. Thank you for joining Pamela Smith Lewis well, from Myrtle Beach, you. South Carolina. It tastes like soap to me, cilantro. I'm give it just a little bit more. LaWanda Bird says cilantro tastes like soap. What's she doing? I feel you on that. You know what? <laughs> when I first started eating cilantro, first time I had my experience with it, long, long time ago, I accidentally, I wasn't as depth in food as I am now, long mm -hmm. time ago, mm -hmm. I picked up some uh, cilantro thinking it was parsley. Mm -hmm. And I cooked something. I was like, what in the world? Is <laughs> <laughs> cilantro? I mean, parsley is good. <laughs> but over the years, discovering different things and tasting different things, I grew to love cilantro. Now it's one of my favorite things to do. I can actually put cilantro on a sandwich and eat it. That's how much I like it. 
All right, so salmon, we get ready to pull out in just a second. But what we're going to do is, since I got this up here, I'm going to get it out of the way. We're going to go ahead and get these peppers done. Uh, Nancy Petaway says, you know what? It smells like soap to me, but it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jackie Adams. Um, the brand that we're using is McCormick Chinese Five Spice. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's many. There's many that's, different that's ones. ones. Okay, yeah. so we're going to do that. So he roasted a red bell pepper, if you're just joining, and put it in a plastic bag so it can sweat, and then he removed the skin. The skin and the seeds. And uh, I'm just going to make some slices because I'm going to put those. The only reason I have this little paper on here is just because the peppers like, release the liquid and the liquids and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hello, Jackie Jane Settle. First time watching from North Carolina. Thank you for joining us. Hello, okay. Trina Smith. All right, so those are cut. We're going to take the salmon out and let it rest here for a second. Okay. Um, the rice we use is really uh, the big box of rice from Sam's. I think it's member's mark. It's a long grain parboiled rice. Yeah. Um, of course you can use any. I mean, I considered jasmine rice today. I think that would have gone real well with this. Mm -hmm. Quinoa would have went well with this as yeah, well. For Only a reason I didn't do the quinoa because we just did some quinoa. I, I'm going to get I'm gonna get all that up out of there. Don't y'all worry. Yeah, that's some good <laughs> stuff right there. The bottom of that skillet. You're going to let that sit there kind of. Relax for a minute. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to grab one more plate for that. Okay. I'm going to put the vegetables in there and then I'm going to start putting the bowls together in just a moment. Okay. I, Kip, I, you're I need, cool with them knives. Break. All right, juice break. Mary Woodbury, you're cool with them knives, my brother. Thank you so much. LaWanda Bird, mom is doing well. She's actually watching um, at my sister's house. So she sees the comments. Mom is doing great. Hello, Angie Ratliff. She said, good evening, good people. Good evening. So we're going to put these peppers over here. So uh, I'm trying to be a little healthier and eat some good stuff. Flavor. Good flavors, too, and healthy. Yeah. Yes. I'm trying to help you out. So we've got the salmon done, the cilantro rice is done. I cut it Yeah, you cut it up, Don't babe. mess with me. I'll cut you up. <laughs> I'm going to turn this off. Yeah, <laughs> And these, we're going to make some Asian-inspired salmon bowls. These are our bowls we're going to be using. Let's get ready to come together in just a minute. Yes. If we're traveling on the road right now, we get ready to turn the curve. Turn the curve. Hello, Latanya Anderson, big sis. Um, Martha, I won't burn my hands. God bless her. Thank you. Thank you. Hello from Philadelphia. Looks good. That's Wanda Odell, Odell Lanier. We're going to cut up a little cucumber. Yes, we are. So we got fresh on fresh. Fresh on fresh on fresh on fresh. Fresh on fresh. Yeah. So we're going to cut a little half moon on top of that. Okay, that'll work. See what it tastes like. Q yeah. Kip loves a good cucumber. Yes, I do. We look forward to Carl and Gwen's cucumbers every year. Yeah. Sometimes he do good, sometimes he struggle out there in that garden. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we got some cucumbers. Um, hello guys from Evergreen, Alabama. Looks, uh, love to see you cooking. It looks great. Thank you. Tanya, I wish we could send you a plate. That should be enough for the three of us, huh? Yes, that's enough. All I right. Cucumbers, bent scraper. I'm just putting all this, the veggies, vegetables here mm -hmm. to, uh, then I'm going to plate up everything. <laughs> a little red onion. Hello. Might as well, huh? Yes. Hello, Elder R.T. Leak. She's telling Mom, hey, um, Belinda Florence says looking good. We're going to slice thinly up some red onion. There we are. Let's see. I don't know what the heck I was doing. I was cutting this onion. Let's go this way. Okay. That should be enough. Yes. Ooh, that onion smells good with you all these that. other flavors. Yes. And we're going to use a little bit of this butter, lettuce. Shred that up a little bit. So lettuce is just going to bring a different um, texture component mm -hmm. to the bowl. You'll be doing rice, and then you'll have the crunch of the lettuce, and um, all the other fresh vegetables yeah, will be so, adding. And of course, you can use whatever lettuce you like. I'm using butter lettuce. You can use a romaine or, or an 
endive or whatever you like. Mm -hmm. and, uh, if you have a, uh, uh, quite a few people in the house, you can let them make their own bowl. There you go. Because he's plating the vegetables in such a way where you can just walk by and put in your bowl what you want. There you go. The only other thing I'm going to add is... Uh, Mm, pomegranate seeds. Yeah, pomegranate seeds. I probably could have peeled, opened that a little differently, but uh, I'm gonna do it like this. Hello, Mama Lola. She just, I just saw her. I wish you were here to taste. We miss and love you. Um, Jackie Adams says, thank you. I started watching you guys about two months ago. I made sure I set my notifications to ding every time you're on. Thank you for the love and support. Thank you so much, Marilyn Ross. Good evening from New Jersey. So who washes all the dishes afterwards? We do. We do together. Yeah, it's teamwork. It's teamwork. Sometimes it's Lola. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> it's Lola after she been came and devoured everything. Yeah, she killed the nachos last <laughs> night. Oh my gosh. She she told them nachos to pieces. Okay, so a little pomegranate. And you're just taking the seeds out, correct? That's right. That's right. That's, you eat the seeds on this. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that'll be a nice little crunch. Um, there in you the go. bowl as well, because these and, seeds yeah. are sweet and crunchy. Sweet and crunchy, good, good for little antibiotics as well. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Antibody? Uh, it's healthy? Yes. Yeah, good for you. All right, that's enough of what I need right now. I'll come back to that later. These are some pomegranate seeds. I'm going to sneak one. You're going to sneak one? Mm-hmm. Oh, they are sweet and right. good. Yes, it ain't nothing like them. All right. Why y'all didn't cook me that? That's what Mama said. <laughs> Mama, who was my mama? Mama Lola. Oh, Mama Lola said that. <laughs> mama, it came from the spirit. All it right. wasn't in our spirit when you was here, but we got you. She, she left the spirit in the room, though. Huh? Yes. <laughs> we got you, Mama. All right, so I'm going to get started right now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this in the back. Uh, Annie Thomas, I wish you were here to taste. We miss you and love you. Jackie Adams says, I wish your neighbor... To get in on that good food tonight. She wish she was your neighbor. That's okay. Annie Thomas. <laughs> All right. So let's get this thing together. Let's put it. Make it pop and do what it do. So. First bowl. First bowl. First bowl is going to be your bowl, baby. First bowl is going to be my Yeah. Bowl. You think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the one you I taste feed out. First. I, yeah, I, feed the, I feed the children and the women first. Nah. <laughs> I guess I'll be tasting, huh? Okay. So we got that. We're going to put. You know, I never did taste the rice. You usually put some type of seasoning, the Berbere or red seasoning mm -hmm. in it, don't you? No? Mm -hmm. good. Okay. That's right where I want it. Lauren Wilson said, Kip, you make everything look easy. Hi, Ty. Thank you. Mama says she mad. Don't be mad, Mama. All right. So the cilantro rice is in. So you did lettuce on the bottom. Yep. And you can make this bowl however, however your spirit you like. leads you to make it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so from there, we're going to go ahead and put a little peppers in there. Oh, hold on, baby. Oh, you mute. Oh, my mute. <laughs> Still in there for somebody. <laughs> we got to put a little bit of the sauce, the aioli. Let me go about the sink and pour this in. That's right. Tell them, Mama. Everything looks so delicious. Marion Jackson says hi. Um, thank you so much. Hello, Mama Lola and Little Lola. <laughs> so the aioli and the, uh, and the, I got my two sauces right here, huh? Yes. Okay. So he's just putting the sauces in a in a squirt bottle that we're gonna um, drizzle on top of the bowl once he finishes. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll have that ready. So I, I let let those uh, kind of sit in the fridge for a moment. Okay. Okay. Now I'm good. So I'm building. All right. So we have that. Got some peppers on there. Red onion. We got some onion on there. We got some cucumbers. Actually, you know what, Kip? Make it look like something. Don't just throw it on there. Placement is everything. Mm -hmm. Chipotle don't have nothing on Kip Bowl. That's right, LaWanda Bird. <laughs> That's yeah. right. There um, we go. Martha Harvey Lewis said, do you have a room for rent? I can be y'all's testers right, and put, dishwasher. Put a little bit of those on there. <laughs> I wish we did. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put a piece of salmon. Where 
over there. Mama, we got you. We gonna make it up to you. Yeah, she big. She up. big, man. Calm she down, Judy Brown. Yes. <laughs> she big, man, man. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we're gonna put a little bit of a. Uh, Mama, you had lollipop lamb chops. Some when of this here. Broccoli. You know, what? I'm put that on the second. Okay. okay. You gonna drizzle first? Yeah. So we're gonna do. Uh, Let me get on the side, cause your hand covering. That's what I was worried about. That's what I thought about just brushing this on. It don't want to come out of there, right? You just put your spoon in there. You know how to do it. Right. Looks healthy and delicious. See if I can pour it off. Okay. Milana Roberts. Salmon looks very go. moist and flavorful. Everything looks so good. There we go. Yes. Kip, when y'all coming to Louisiana? That's Mary Woodbury. I'm hungry. <laughs> There you go. And that can act as the dressing for the lettuce at the bottom of the bowl. So you got a little sauce and some, some sesame, sesame seeds. seeds. Some black and some white. Because we in perfect harmony. Mm. And then a little bit of the broccoli sprouts. On top. On top. Asian inspired salmon bowl. And if you're just joining, uh, cilantro lime rice at the bottom. Presentation spot on, says Shirley Turner. Thank you. All right. All right. We're going to bring it over here, baby. Okay. I'm going to back up on you. Okay. We're going to get another one together while you're doing I that. I need to add that to my menu. Yes, you do. So you got a nice little healthy. And you know, I could probably eat on this twice. This is a lot in this bowl. So think about that. <laughs> yes, it is. Um. Doris Griffin, I want to eat that. It looks delicious. The top of it looks like one of those uh, sushi rolls. <laughs> it does, especially with those sesame seeds on it. But there you have it, fresh, full of flavor. He's making another bowl. Put another one together. I yes. have two, and then we'll get one more at the end. Olivia we'll, we'll said. we out before then, love, probably. OMG, glory, glory, glory. Yes, Linda Jones. Red peppers. Those peppers actually bring so Tons much flavor. flavor. Mm -hmm. And to, if you're just to joining, the game. that's the cilantro lime rice. He just mixed right in the pot. It's nothing hard. Lord, that looks good. Betty Robinson said, I done flatlined Joanne Renfro. She, this, this you, sis, you know a lot. You don't eat no shrimp, but this you, huh? <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> I'm going to eat it all. Nothing, nothing but flavor. Right. Kelly Gordon, beautiful presentation. Thank you so much. So you got, you got a whole meal in here, but healthy. You got some salad. You got some rice. Full of flavor. You got some pomegranates. The sauce, the two different sauces, he um, cooked up a little honey with fish oil. Um, fish sauce. Fish sauce, I'm sorry. Sesame oil, fish sauce, oyster sauce, and soy sauce. And he just cooked that and let it cool. Um, and then he made a uh, aioli with mayo, ginger, um, a little uh, rice wine vinegar and rice wine vinegar and what and sriracha was in the mail. Sriracha as well. Yeah, so just two different types of spi uh, sauces going on. There we go. And uh, a little bit of sprouts. A little bit of sprouts. Yeah, I, I don't think Lola's gonna be feeling the sprouts, so we probably won't put that on her. Yeah, head. yeah, she she's like, oh, dad. Yes. yes. Nice presentation. They do be having the great music, uh, Nisi Petaway. Uh, awesome, looks so yummy and too beautiful to eat. I can almost taste it. I'm so hungry. I'm at the ER and haven't eaten all day. I'm sorry, Linda right. Keller. Where do we get those bowls, babe? Uh, I think these came from like uh, Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning? Yeah, we have bigger versions that we serve out of as well. Okay, I got all kind of mess going on in the kitchen. Yes. We gonna, you going to um, wait and do the third bowl? Yes. Okay. So there you have it. There you go. Our a healthy inspired. choice. A very healthy choice that's uh, tasty. Um, a lot of food is in there. Mm -hmm. A lot of things. Um, Asian inspired. A ton of flavor. Yes. And uh, something good to eat. And there's other things. You know, I actually thought about adding a little avocado to it. 
I get corn. There's so many things. You roasted can put corn, roasted yes. Corn, so many things. So, uh, so that's it. You know, our Asian inspired salmon tonight. You know, it's been fun. You know, it's always good hanging out with you guys. Um, it's been a good week, and I'm always looking for a reason to hang out. We learn from each other. We have conversation. We have food. I got to taste this thing, though. That's what I was about to say. I got my bowls from Walmart oh, years ago. I was about to check out. That was Joanne Renfro. Hello, Denise God bless Hall. the food that has been prepared. Amen. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. I had chopsticks, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Mmm. But come Lola. Lola. <laughs> wow. Wow, you on live. Lola, did you just burp? <laughs> <laughs> Leave out with a song, Kip. Can you please send me a bow? Hello, Denise Hall. Thank you for joining I'm the family. I'm trying to get to you. <laughs> it's good, baby. Wow. It's good. Pack, pack with flavor. And I wouldn't kid you. Lola uh, says she wants uh, some. Separate ones. You want some of that? Yeah, taste that one, Lola. Taste, taste that one. See, tell me what you think. Add corn to mine. I'm Take pulling up. That's drink. Pamela Dow. Looks yummy and very nice presentation. Tell me what you think, Gizmo. Y'all hear me say Gizmo? I call my baby that sometimes. Don't y'all can't call her that though. <laughs> yeah, he's the only one that can call her that. I can't wait. Lola's to gonna get tell us what she thinks, and then we're gonna. What you think, baby? Say it's something. It's, it's good. good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's teenager approved. Yes. Yeah. So we did good. Well, yeah. So it's been fun. You know what? I enjoy the food. And you know what? I look forward to every time. We look for a reason to put a smile on our face. So mm -hmm. I'm going to with one of my favorite songs of all time from way back. Just the one, the one little short part of it. For all we know, we may never meet again. Before we go, make this moment sweet again. We won't say goodnight till the last minute. I'll hold out my hands and my heart will be in it. For all we know, this may only be a dream. We come and go like the ripples of a stream. So love me tonight, mm. tomorrow was made for some, for all we know. Dang, baby, you made hey, me cry. <laughs> have a good night, y'all. Keep a smile on their face. I love you guys. Cheers, wine, food, conversation, all that good stuff. Cooking with Kip at five. Love you. Have a good night. Good night, y'all. Thank y'all for joining.